But I'll do another video and see if she ends up paying or if we end up with her vehicle. Alright guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. Today's video, we have an update from a video I did a few weeks back where I was fired from a mobile mechanic job. So stay tuned. Let's do a quick recap for some of the viewers that don't know what I'm talking about. A few weeks ago, I was called out to do a diagnosis on a vehicle. I went out there, uh, did the diagnosis, found out they need an axle replacement. So I talked to the woman, settle up, and we said we're going to do it. We go get the part, come back, we start doing the job. And usually people go in at this time when I start working. But no, she pulled a chair up right beside me, which happens once in a while, and started asking me, every question anytime i was taking something off she was saying do you really have to take all this stuff off like come on you know i'm not just doing it for my health and i'm not charging you on an hourly basis i said i would charge you 140 dollars to complete the job so anyway we start doing the axle she's asking me all these questions but i'm just blocking it out taking everything apart everything goes real smooth all the way up to the end there was one bolt that was stuck and it was stuck inside the bush. So I was like, all right, man, I'm gonna have to cut this bolt out. Usually you don't have to even tell them because they're inside. You take the bolt off however you need to. Cut it, wrench it, whatever you gotta do, you get the bolt out and you replace it. But she's out there, so I'm like, well, ma'am, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. She's like, well, I don't know about that. How about we just stop? Let me call some other. She, first she said she's gonna call Trip Way. Let's see if Trip Way can come out and fix it. And I was just like, oh, geez, lady. So she disappears, comes back, and then she just says, all right, why don't you just go ahead and quit? Just put everything back together. I'm gonna have another dealership or a mechanic come out and take it. And I explained to her, I was like, well, ma'am, I could have this done right now. And it off is, it's really no big deal. And she just wasn't hearing it at all. So she asked me to put it back together. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, whatever, I'll get it put back together. Where I messed up in the beginning was I charged $65 for a diagnosis. I always get the 65 when I arrive. I didn't get that. They don't want to pay you half up front. Don't take the job. It's just that simple. I get the car back together. I go up to her and I said, all right, ma'am, click the diagnosis money. She said, no, you didn't finish the job. I'm not going to pay you. I said, no, I understand that. I said, we're not finishing it because you won't let us. I said, I'm not even charging you the full thing. And I said, first off, the diagnosis has nothing to do with anything else. I've already came out and diagnosed you, told you it was an axle. You have to pay for that at least. She tells me to leave the property. So I just, I'm packing my shit up and here comes the cops. Sure enough, they got out and was like, hey, what's the situation? What's, what's going on? She says, you're harassing her. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know? So I explained to the cops what's going on. Of course, they don't do anything. They're like, oh, that's a civil matter, but you're going to have to leave because she don't want you here. That was the end of it. Then I started having these bad reviews come up and I had like a 4.8 out of five star rating, which is good, you know? And then I seen it drop down to like a 4.1. I was like, that don't happen on one review. I have like multiple negative reviews. And I get on there and there's like six or seven one star reviews all saying basically the same thing. It was obviously her. It was the same day that the first bad review was the same day this happened. And that was the only job I did, so. And it's talking about what happens, so obviously, sir. So I contact my attorney, not my attorney, like I don't have one on retainer, but I hire this attorney and he sends her a cease and desist letter of filing these reviews. Cause it's actually illegal to lie and file bad reviews. After we sent her that letter, there was no more new reviews, but she didn't take off the bad reviews. I tried to dispute them, but they were still on there, you know, my thing's like a 4.2 now, which is still good, but. A four, if you look at, you're looking for a place and has a 4.2 and the other businesses have four fives and four eights, obviously you're going to go with them. And I went from being one of the highest to, you know, like middle of the road. <laughs> that sucks. You know? So had the same lawyer send her a letter requesting the initial quote of $140, the diagnosis of $65. And then the lawyer fees that I've had, that was $160 that I had to hire the lawyer to do this stuff. Well, we get a response. We get a payment of $60 or 65 that covered the diagnosis. And I was like, and that's it. I was like, oh, well, maybe that's something, you know, maybe we'll get some more. So then my lawyer calls me and says, hey, she contacted us and she's got a bill for you. And I go and get this. She went to the dealership to have this fixed. They quoted her like $885 or something crazy like that. 
So she sent me this bill saying that I destroyed her car and now I she wants me to pay for all these repairs and stuff. And I'm like, you're full of shit, lady. That's why it's good about recording the jobs because I recorded that whole job because I was going to make a YouTube video of it. So now I actually have video proof of everything we done. She wants to play this game where I am too. We are trying to file a mechanics lien on her vehicle. She's only paid 60 bucks. I've got a bunch of negative reviews. Now she wants me to pay $850. And in response, I'm trying to take her vehicle. Do I want to take the lady's vehicle? No. But you have to stand up for yourself. You can't just let people just run you over as a business owner. You can't be scared. You know, that's why the laws are there. That's why you hire an attorney. Does it suck? There's a wish I didn't have to pay that money out, this and that. Sure, but that's what they're counting on. When these people don't pay you or if the customer doesn't pay you, they're counting on cut your losses and go. If she comes to court and says, okay, I will pay what I owe you and your attorney fees, I would drop the mechanics lien, obviously. Just pay your bill so we both can move on. And uh, this attorney actually, he's pretty good. He's a younger dude, but he worked hard. He didn't cost the whole bunch. So, actually, in the description, I'm going to link his information. So, if you're in Columbus, Ohio, or Ohio in general, or wherever, you give this guy a call. If somebody does this to you, look into litigation or look in to hire an attorney just for simple things. To send a cease and desist letter or send a letter stating... If you don't pay this, we are going to file. That's all it is. I gave you a chance to pay here. This is what I'm gonna do if you don't pay your bill. And then if they pay, great. If not, then you have to escalate it. So that's the update on this situation. Once we go to court, I'll give you, uh, I'll do another video and see if she ends up paying or if we end up with her vehicle or we'll see what happens. Leave me a comment if you think I didn't handle this wrong or what else I should have done. If this was you, what would you do in this situation? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, if you like business owners actually stepping up, not getting ran over, give me a thumbs up. If you want to support a wounded warrior that's trying to make it as a small business owner and a YouTuber, go ahead and subscribe for me. And like always, simplify till next time.